I told you. I don't want to bone it. It's still struck though. Welcome back to Jared Pro Shop Vids. Today, Jungle is back and he's throwing the new Storm Absolute. We are absolutely excited here. This is a very new ball and he's comparing it to two other hybrids, one from Rotogrip and one from 900 Global. First, let's talk a little bit about the new Absolute. So this ball features new technology, both a new core and cover stock. The cover stock on this is the R2S Deep Hybrid. I wonder what the deep means. Not sure, you can let us know down in the comments. We also have the Sentinel core, a very interesting shape as you can see. So the design intent behind this core, so for most layouts, drilling a thumb hole will not remove mass from its core. So therefore, we are retaining more of its integrity of the core shape. And this should lead to more consistent ball reaction. Thank you, Barks. <laughs> now let's talk about why we're comparing it to the RST X3 and the reality check. Well, simply, the Absolute is a asymmetrical hybrid bowling ball. Similarly, the RST X3 from Rotogrip and the reality check from 900 Global are also asymmetrical hybrids. So if you haven't seen the reviews for these two bowling balls, we'll quickly tell you some facts. We expect the RST X3 to hook the earliest mostly due to its strong cover stock, but also because of the bright colors. So not only is that cover stock really strong, but bright colors tend to roll earlier on the lane. Now with the reality check, we still have quite a strong cover stock, the S84 Beta. However, from our testing, this ball naturally goes a bit longer and a bit sharper. So as we know from balls with the R2S cover, it's a very quick response cover stock, meaning that's also very sharp. So keeping that in our minds, we expect something similar from this bowling ball as well. Today, Jungo is bowling on Big Ben, 44 feet, kind of similar to a house shot, but a bit longer in length, medium volume. However, it has been bowled on for quite a few hours. We got some practice in, so Jungo gets what's left, but that should be perfect for these hybrid bowling balls. Special thank you to all of our JR Pro Shop members. 2023, what better way to start your year by becoming a better bowler? So sign up today by clicking the join button below you'll receive early access to our videos, some coaching, free merch, and so much more. So, I am absolutely excited. Let's go to Jung on the Lanes. Cue the intro. What's up everyone, Jungle is back. Brand new Storm Absolute here. I'm gonna be comparing it to the 900 Global Reality Check and the Rotogrip X3. So all three are asymmetrical hybrids. As we'll see, they're not all the same, right? Even though they're in the same category, they have subtle differences. So we're gonna throw them all with the same layout and we're gonna see what those differences are. We're gonna start with our feet on 35 here. It's Big Ben, but it's been bowled on quite a bit, so we've got a little bit of burn going. That's why we're so deep. This is where these balls should really do well. Wow, that hooked like crazy in the back end. All right, we're gonna to have to move a little bit to the left, get our break point further to the right, give a little more area for it to come back. All right, three boards to the left. Pretty good, slap the pin out nice. But I think it's just going a little bit too long. So we're gonna have to adjust that a little bit. Maybe slow down the speed just a hair. Have it face up a little bit earlier. Okay, same line, just a little bit slower speed. We're gonna try and get this ball going flush through the eight pin. Really good shot, missed the hair to the left. So it didn't quite get as far to the right as the previous shot, but Nice and high flush, just what we want to see. Now let's go down to the X3. This ball's going to be a little bit earlier rolling and definitely smoother off the spot when it starts to hook. So let's give it a shot, same line. As you can see, that picked up and rolled much earlier than the Absolute. So I don't have to slow my speed down to get it to go high flush. The subtle difference there between the asymmetrical hybrids 
between Roto Grip and Storm. So you just have to figure out which one is best for you. Or if you don't know, ask your pro shop guy. Hopefully he'll help you figure it out. Just because, you know, as you can see, there's subtle differences and you really need to fit the ball to your game. Okay, one more here with the X3 and then we'll throw the reality check. So as you can see there with the X3, I missed a little bit to the left and it got a light strike. Just rolled a little bit too early to have enough pop down lane where the absolute, when I missed a little bit left, it went high flush. So you can see a little differences there of where you can miss and what the balls do when you do miss. So another reason why you gotta match the ball to your game. All right, reality check, same line. The reality check a little bit longer than the X3, but still gives you that really smooth shape and definitely more tame off the spot than the Absolute. All right, since this reality check looks a little bit less for me, I'm gonna move two to the right and see if we can go high flush. Yeah, much better entry angle to the pocket, just left the wrap 10, so the reality check definitely hooks a little bit less and a little bit more tame off the spot than the Absolute. Let's throw the Absolute in that same line and we'll see the difference. Yeah, you can see that it dove more in the back end, way more. Almost at the 4.9, got lucky to carry it. In terms of reality check versus absolute, like reality check's pretty tame off the spot compared to this ball. Let's move three to the left from the original line with the absolute from where it struck. We'll throw all three balls in that line just to see like the reaction difference and which ball is better from inside. So I'm now standing on 41. got some insane back end actually. Really clean through the fronts, like slides through the front really easy. Don't have to force it down the lane. Man, it makes a left turn. All right, about halfway through the vid here with Jungle with the Absolute, and we can already tell how sharp this ball is for being a hybrid. What do you prefer at home? Do you like solids, hybrids, or pearls? Let me know down in the comments. Jungle here likes solids, symmetrical solids to be exact. And we're gonna need another one here, Storm. So keep Jung happy. All right, X3 on that line. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave a 10 pin here. This ball just reads a little bit too early, a little bit too even for this line, I think. I felt like I threw that one pretty close to the same as the absolute, maybe a touch to the right, and that ball did not want to hook at the back end that much at all. You can really see the reaction difference from the absolute to the X3. Both asymmetrical hybrids, right? But totally different bowling balls. All right, let's throw the reality check on that line. I think it'll be a little bit better than the X3 just because it goes a little longer. Man. Terrible. Still struck though. Yeah, pretty good shot there. As you can see, it's a little bit better than the X3 playing way inside, but definitely not as angular as the Absolute. That Absolute is crazy angular. Good. I don't wanna bone it. All right, one more from the Absolute here at Fifth Arrow. Let's take it back to the shop. I don't wanna bone it. I told you! No way that What time? Dude, <laughs> could that be any more perfect? Unbelievable. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Jungle's back from the lane zone, the absolute. Man, this ball is sharp for a hybrid. It might even be sharper than the dark code. I'm gonna throw it against that in the coming weeks, maybe in the league and see how it does, but this ball reminds me of a dark code. Throw it against the X3 and the reality check here. All asymmetrical hybrids and Again, asymmetrical hybrid, uh, same category, but we got three really different bowling balls here. So just because it's in a category like asymmetrical hybrid doesn't mean it does one thing or the other, right? I threw them all beside each other. The absolute is definitely the sharpest. The X3 here, the rolliest, picks up the soonest, very smooth. And the reality check here kind of fits in the middle. It's a little longer than the X3 and a little bit sharper as well. So fits right in between these two. So as you can see, while I was bowling, I 
moved a little bit left after the initial shots. The Absolute is the only one that continued through the pin deck and was able to go through the eight pin consistently where the X3 and the Reality Check here kind of got a little bit lazy when it got too far to the left. Like they like to roll a little bit earlier, see the lane a little bit sooner where the Absolute just floats to that spot a little bit further and turns the corner that much harder. Three asymmetrical hybrids here, but we got three totally different reactions. All drilled the exact same, so we know it's just the bowling ball that's making the difference here. When choosing an asymmetrical hybrid, or any ball for that matter, make sure it suits your game. For me, I like balls that roll a little bit sooner, uh, a little bit smoother off the back end for the most part, but of course you need balls that are sharp for certain scenarios. So I always lean towards like the X3. This RST core is one of my favorite cores, early rolling, very controllable. And this ball is really, really sharp. So I know it'll come into play at some point, longer format tournaments, a little bit drier lanes where I can get way left and have that ball really corner in the back end. And you can really see how much this ball out hooks the Revenant. The Revenant review coming right up. We did it on the same lane. You can really be able to tell. Asymmetrical hybrid versus symmetrical pearl. Lots of difference in ball reaction. And yeah, I was very surprised how sharp this ball was. So where this ball fits in my bag, it definitely hooks a lot and it's extremely sharp. So I think this ball will come into play on longer patterns when it starts to break down a little bit, gotta move your feet a little bit to the left, play in the oil a little bit more. You need that ball to corner in the back end and really kick out that 10 pin, where other balls like your symmetric solids, like your reality and things like that are gonna be a little bit too smooth, but you still need a big ball. I think that's exactly where this ball is gonna come into play. So something on a little bit longer pattern, a little bit tougher where you gotta move your feet left. I'm definitely gonna bring this ball with me. Final thoughts kind of person that likes to see back end, get this ball. This ball is crazy off the back end. Very surprised. Don't forget my question down in the comments. What do you prefer? Solid hybrid pearl? I prefer solids. Earlier rolling, even hook, much more predictable, a lot easier to use for me. So that's why I lean towards the solids a lot. So Storm, we need some more solids. All right, stay tuned for the next ball review, the Revenant coming up in a few days. We play on the same lane, so you can really see how different the absolute is to the Revenant. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget our promo code JUNGLEBARKS at bufabowling.com. 10% off in the checkout. He's got absolutely everything. So if you don't have a pro shop nearby, you need some stuff, hit up that website, put in the promo code, have some fun. See you in the next bit.